Hello everyone. Here's one more video of uh, our regime maintenance that we can perform ourselves instead of calling professionals. And this time I'm gonna check and maybe clean my outside air conditioning unit that a lot of people posted to YouTube videos about how to clean. And I'm gonna check and see how is mine. Do I need to clean it? And how much I need to clean it. Inside of the house, I will uh, turn off my cooling, just to be safe, and outside, I will take the breaker out. Outside unit is here. What I need to do is pull this out, complete, like that with the breakers, and there I will be safe. I don't think so, my unit is so dirty, but it is hard to see in these corners or behind these panels. So I will try to take this top off or these panels separately and see a little bit more to be able to access all corners and clean well. Now that I took all screws out, I can lift this up and see here, we can take this panel out and see how it is inside. And it is dirty, not nah, maybe too much, but good enough or dirty enough, better say, for me to clean it. And I'm gonna take rest of the panels off and see around. Now all my panels are off. And for sure I'm glad I am doing this because it is ready to be cleaned. Maybe it's not too bad like some other videos you might find, but I am for sure preventing this to be worse. So all my panels are here and here some debris like this here. That is ready to be taken away. A lot of people is saying to use different ways to clean this with the chemical or just vinegar and dish soap or whatever. But because mine is a couple of years old and it's not too dirty, I'm just gonna use the toothbrush and clean this big stuff out. Be careful to not uh, damage the fins. Maybe use sharp luck to take some of this stuff out and then wash it with the water hose without any chemicals this year early in the life of the AC unit to not to damage it because I'm not sure about how dangerous or how safe those uh, chemicals are. Okay, I have my uh, sharp luck. What I will do, I'll put my finger out a little bit like this gently touch these coils and not to touch things with this and not to damage it and come as close as possible so it stays you see I can take this off if I come closer I'll do the best I can with this and water will do the rest here on the bottom it's a little bit easier to clean and I'm gonna go all around and then show you on the end what I done. One more time, just to repeat what I said, I'm not sure did you hear me from the vacuum noise, but um, instead of touching these coils with a plastic attachment for sharp vac, I'm gonna put my finger down and go like this close and take all this stuff out. And uh, I'll go all the way around with uh, sharp vac, clean everything and I'll show you in the end how it was. Done with sharp luck and doesn't have any more of those big debris of dust and uh, dirt. 
maybe hit a little bit. I might finish that again with the sharp fuck and fix some of these spots with the comb and then use the water hose. Before I do the um, water part, water hose, I'm gonna clean some of these imperfections with the comb that I got from either Home Depot or the um, Nicely's, Nicely's store works really well if I have any of these imperfections well I need to go up and down and it will fix it like that and that is good some parts are stubborn maybe too much damaged but all in all it is good before I start with water cleaning the coils a couple of things important to say one is I close the box where the breaker is and cover it try not to make it moist because we amateur people may make sometimes big mistakes like this and this is one of them that I don't want to make make it worse than it is and then the second thing is the shower setup will be what's recommended to clean in coils rather than jet to not bend these fins when we use the water hose so I'm gonna start and go from one end to another and do the best I can and I think it's important to say to go from the top to the bottom to have top debris pushing bottom debris out and not to get stuck. Okay. It looks clean. Wet, but clean. And I think I am good with this much some people will recommend to go from out inside I'm sorry and then push the pre out but because my unit is a couple of years old and uh, it's not too dirty I'm not gonna risk to have this assembly with a motor I mean fan and motor holding it with by myself somehow because I cannot disconnect it completely here is that uh, wiring that's connecting fan with the rest of the unit so I'm not comfortable to do it by myself maybe next time when I have help I will hold the fan somehow secure or by somebody else and then clean it with um, some chemical vinegar or however I find out the best way and then go from inside out as well now I just need to put all this together and turn the AC on one uh, word of advice is I will um, recommend doing this in a hot and dry uh, days uh, when there's no rain uh, bef when rain didn't happen before because if you're gonna clean it well you'll have a lot of water all around as I did and it will be better to have the dry ground and uh, absorb the water Okay, all screws are in, all the way around, unit is good, I'm gonna take this plastic bag off, put this breaker in, uh, sorry, this I remember goes lights go up and it started to work immediately even though I had um, the um, inside unit off I um, 
Okay, and it works well. So this is it. I do remember that I did shut off inside unit. Now it's in 74. Room temperature 75. I um, don't know what I didn't do right. I remember I put it here in off position. Maybe I didn't click it, so it was not off. That's why the fan outside started to work immediately. But it's now on cool and um, it's working well. But sometimes to think a little bit more about safety is never too much. I think my unit is now even more quiet, probably because I tied all these screws well. But this is it. I don't know how much uh, AC company will charge for cleaning, but I think I did well. Anybody can do it. You need some little tools, none too big, but uh, most important tool is patient and ask for help if you need some. And of course, be safe. Make sure that you do everything safe way and will be fine. I hope this will help somebody to compare and learn for themselves to do it. If you will have any questions, comments, I'll appreciate both. Till next project, probably project uh, to clean coils inside. If you subscribe to my channel, you'll be able to see that. Thank you for watching. Till next time.